Uh, okay, um, here with you, Q. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny and Hugh are both fantastic, unbelievable uh, young people who are volunteers of Green Cross. And um, you guys have now been kind of like the peanut gallery for Extreme of the Heroes. <laughs> As it really developed from an idea before it really even existed and then kind of grew, um, Jenny, you've helped a lot with getting this weekend going. Yeah, um, what do you think? How do you think it's gone? How do you think the whole thing's progressing? It's really interesting to see it develop from the yeah. initial heroes that came into the project and the idea that you guys have had mm -hmm. and how you're looking to develop that and really focusing on your key goal with this in recruiting youth into emergency services and, yeah. and the problem with um, the lack of that and, and the problems they're going to face with climate change and needing people coming through the ranks to support our communities when those when those disasters hit. Right. Mm -hmm. And you're like, you studied maths? I did some mm -hmm. maths, some economics, some international relations, a bit of everything. And so. here you are supporting all these yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's yeah. very cool. And you enjoy volunteering? In your Absolutely. Own kind of, yeah. yeah I, so I've been volunteering with Green Cross now for probably about a year and a half initially, mm -hmm. sort of coming to events with you guys. But over the last six months, I've um, been helping out a bit more. And yeah. it's something that's been really valuable for me and has had professional professional development opportunities. And Great. Yeah, so it's been really valuable. How wonderful. Cute. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you tell us a bit about how you've been involved with Green Cross so far. Um, well, I mentioned earlier in the weekend I've been yeah. sort of a Green Cross groupie, I think, from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. I first came in touch with Green Cross through the Earth Dialogues when Gorbachev came to Brisbane back in, way back when. Yeah. And I thought, wow, this organisation's great, and I followed it up, and through that I got to meet you and the lovely Fran. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, through that I was, just, I was just really impressed with the practical approach that Green Cross has always taken to environmental matters, which I think is a really important side of things, along with the advocacy, but I think that the practical side of stuff really attracts me. Uh, mm -hmm. Very cool. Yeah. And this idea of using social media and um, connecting the cause of climate change to the risk of climate change um, with the response of you know, getting skilled and being there for communities on the ground, how important is that for your generation? To my generation? Well, it's, uh, you know, we saw a video early in the day and, and it brings it home and it's something like, uh, you know, over 80% of sort of our generation are using social media. It's the way we connect with each other. I mean, it's yeah. sort of... It's, if you want to connect with our generation, I guess it is probably the only, you know, de definite way that you can do that. So it, it makes perfect sense. And this uh, this notion of um, thermal inertia, where you know the greenhouse pollution in the atmosphere today, uh, you know, it will really have an impact 25, yeah. 30 years from now. Yeah. So it's kind of your kids, aren't they, yeah. that are related to the air conditioners that we're using today? Well, I guess I mean it's one of the laws of inertia. You know, it doesn't yeah. it doesn't go away right. until you put in another force to get rid of it. And uh, yeah. unless we do something like this, then it's not going to change. And it's only going to keep on going the way it is, if not worse. So, yeah, you know, it it's, uh, yeah. makes perfect sense. We, we can't expect things to change without actually taking, you know, pretty direct action, I think. So mm -hmm. this is a great program for doing that and, and getting really to the root cause and, and actually, yeah, really dealing with the consequences if and when they happen. Yep. And, and, yeah. Great. And, you know, it's funny, Jen Wise sometimes gets a bum rap because it's just about where she goes like into cool things. And I think you guys volunteer huge amounts of time, not just to us, but to lots of other, you know, causes and stuff. You know, that, that's a really good thing. How, how, you know, do you, obviously you enjoy it or you wouldn't be doing it, yeah? Yeah, well, one of the reasons I really like this project that Green Cross has in particular is I do involve with a lot of projects. A lot of them deal with youth engagement and uh, you, I invited you to speak at one of them yeah. uh, last year. And that conference, we had 600 students coming from all over the world. And it was a really great event, and I, I'm confident that through that and through other similar events, I've probably met, you know, the future leaders of Australia. But at the same time, a lot of them have struggled to really adapt to how they can practically see, yeah. you know, their ideal visions for the world. A lot of them want to be, you know, working for the United Nations one day and so on, and I'm sure some of them may be. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I think if you want to get real practical development skills, and if you actually want to be working, you know, on the ground, say, in an emergency situation like in Haiti at the moment, yes. the skills that you could learn through organisations exactly. like the SES or Red Cross would be so much more invaluable <laughs> than yeah. coming to any conference I ever <laughs> 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 Well, that positive note of why <laughs> these conferences <laughs> Yeah, it's a valuable thing to do, and I think more people should be doing it. We love you guys. Thank you so much. <laughs>